Hello everyone, welcome to 3designacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about how to snap objects. Now, snapping objects is going to be one of the most critical lessons which is going to help you with your model. Okay, so we're going to start with placing an object right here. So I'm just going to say press a zero and enter right here. Now, when you select an object, for example, by pressing Control Shift and uh, middle uh, left mouse button, pick object, you'll see a little highlighted green object in the middle of the sphere. Now, what this uh, what this is it's it's called a pivot, and that's gonna be a reference point of the object in all of snapping or moving or transformation is based on. So it is very critical that you understand this concept. So let's say when I want to move this uh, over here, the pivot is gonna move with it and all the movements is going to base on this. So let's say I want to snap this right here. So I'm just gonna press Alt and click. It is the pivot in which the movement of the sphere is based on. Now, you can actually move uh, the pivot itself. So when you, so there are two ways. Of course, that there's, um, there's from pick, uh, from the transform on the palette, you can uh, click on set pivot and you can just move it and you'll see the object stays the same, stays still and the pivot moves. Of course, the easier way to do this is use the marking menu. So all you have to do is Control Shift and Middle Mouse button, and you'll see Move Pivot right here. The Move Pivot is uh, the moving the pivot is the same as the moving the objects. So when you want to move move it along the x-axis, all you have to do is click the left mouse button. If you want to move it along the y-axis, click the middle mouse button. And if you want it to move it along the z-axis, all you have to do is Press the right, uh, right mouse button, and it, it'll move as such. Now, let's say you move it, uh, move the pivot like this, and you want to center it, uh, center it back to the center of the object. All you have to do is Control Shift, middle mouse button, and right here you'll see center pivot, and it's gonna move the pivot back to the center of the object. Okay, now that we learned about pivots, uh, we'll let's move to actually snapping the object. So in order to snap the objects, you'll see on the right hand side corner, uh, you'll see a bunch of options. Uh, the first thing we'll do is grid snap. So now you, so you'll see snap to grid. And what you can do is let's say we want to create an object. So I'll click on the sphere and I'm just going to click right here and you'll see that I press near the center uh, where the grid um, meets and it created an object on the sphere exactly where the grid is. So if I want to press somewhere around here again it's going to snap to the closest point on the grid. So let's see uh, let's go to a side view by pressing F6 or on the view cube right here. So let's say you want to press uh, or create another sphere. Or to this, click near the uh, grid uh, grid point where you want to create it, and all you have to just click on. Now, it is kind of hard. It's going to be very difficult to click this on and off every time that you want to use it. So the faster way to do this is use the Alt button. So on the keyboard, you all you have to do is press Alt and snap to the grid or click near the cross point and you'll be able to snap right on the grid instead of having to click this on and off. So again, I'll create one more like this. Now let's delete those and let's move on to snap to CV. Now, step to CV, um, you can, uh, let's actually create a curve first before we do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the side view and I'm gonna create a curve right here, like this. So in the curve, you'll see that there are three points where you can snap to. So let's say you want to create an object here. All you have to do is turn this on. 
like this and click near the point where you want to snap it to. And you'll see that there's a sphere here. I'm gonna create another one here. And it'll just snap to this point right there. Of course, uh, another way that you can snap this is instead of clicking this on and off by using the control, uh, control, control key. So I just turn this off and let's say you wanna to snap to this point here. All you have to do is press control and click. Control and click, control and click like this. Now the third point, uh, the third way to snap is a snap, uh, snap to the either the surface edge or the curve. It's uh, this guy right here, snap to curve. So let's say you don't necessarily want to snap to this point, but somewhere along the curve. All you have to do is click this on. Again, I'm gonna create a sphere. And I'm just gonna click somewhere around here and you'll see that I'm actually snapping to the curve right here. Now you can also snap it to the surface edge, or in this case, uh, isoparm. This is uh, this line is called an isoparm. You can uh, snap along this edge. So let's say you want to snap along this point right here. You'll be able to snap along this line like that. Now another way to do this, instead of clicking this on and off, is by pressing Control Alt at the same time. So let's say let's try to create a cube. So let's say I want to create a cube right here. So all I have to do is press Control Alt, and you'll see that I'll be able to snap this. And let's say I want to create another cube along this edge. So all I have to do is go like that. Press Control Alt and click. Now, the snap to curve is, uh, actually has a several options. So if you press this uh, triangle right here, you'll see that um, there's a snap, uh, snap options, snap division, snap to center, snap to pivot, project the intersection, and true intersection. Okay, so I'm gonna go one by one what these are. So snap division is basically along the edge. Let's, let me first delete all these. Uh, basically, divides a curve into, depending on the number of sections that you want, it divides it. So let's say right now the snap division is at one. So let's increase that to two. So what you can do is basically it created another point on the curve, which is exactly halfway between the other ends. So now if we increase the number to three, you'll actually see three, uh, four points total. So you have one in the beginning, one in the middle, another one in the middle and one along the end. And if you want to increase to four, let's say we let's say we increase it to five, then you'll be able to snap here and it'll divide it exactly into fifths. So one, okay, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Now, Snap to center. So uh, I usually like to keep this at two because it's rare that I actually need to snap it somewhere along, uh, you know, in the division of three. So I'm just going to leave it at two. Now, snap to center. What this does is, let's say you have a circle like this, and you want to snap exactly in the middle. All you have to do is, let's say I want to create a cube. Right on. Uh, actually, let's scale this up a little bit like that. Let's say you want to place a cube right inside this is a circle. Then all you have to do is make sure that this is on. And if you press, uh, let's say create an object. And if you drag your mouse along this button uh, or, or around the circle by pressing Control Alt, it's going to give you this little circle, uh, this orange circle and a cross in the middle. So all you have to do is drag your cube close to the uh, cursor close to here and it, it's able to snap into the center of the circle the pivot now that depends on the location of the pivot so when I click on this object you'll see that the pivot is right here so I'm gonna just for reference 
I'm gonna move the pivot a little bit up. And I'm, again, I'm gonna start try to snap the cube to the pivot. And for some reason, I'm unable to see. Oh, I didn't. I didn't check that out. Okay, let's try. And you'll see the pivot right here, located here, and you'll be able to snap the object to the pivot. Now it is very rare that I need to use this, so I usually have this turned off. Now, project and intersection that I actually use. So I'm gonna, uh, by default, the true intersection is actually turned on, and I'm gonna explain to you what those two, uh, what the difference between the two are. So I created another curve, and you'll see that in the 3D view, these curves are actually touching. So let's say I want to create an object in which these two curves intersect at. So if it's a, because of these are actually intersecting, I'm able to locate or place the object right here where the pink X, uh, pink cross, is located. Now it's because the objects are actually touching, but let's say this, I move this curve a little bit along the y-axis so that they are actually separate. But from the side view, they look like they're touching. So in this case, when even if I try to uh, snap the object between where the two curves meet, I can't. So what you have to do is in this case, you have to turn the projected intersections off like that. And then you'll be able to snap it like that. Bitcoin. Let me do it again. So all you have to do is press Control Alt, snap it along the curve, and where the project intersection is, you'll be able to snap the object exactly where you want it to. So for the, uh, the default setting is one, and the project intersection is off. But I usually like to always have this on, and I usually have the snap divisions to two. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show an example of stacking cubes and objects by using both the move pivot and the snap tool. So let's say I place a cube right here. I'm going to grid snap, grid snap it by pressing Alt and click. So you have a cube here, however, Let's say you want to move this up. Uh, you want to place it exactly at the corner. You want this uh, this corner to be right here. So all you have to do is, first of all, Control Shift, Middle Mouse button, and press Move Pivot. And I'm going to move the pivot to this corner right here. So I'm going to Control Alt, Left Mouse button, click, move the pivot to here, and I'm going to say Control Shift, Move and I'm gonna press Alt and grid snap it like that. And now we are able to move the object right here. So uh, because it, this was from the side view, it didn't exactly place the cube uh, at the origin. So what I'm gonna do is press Alt. Actually, I'm gonna show you both ways. First of all, I'm gonna snap it by pressing Alt and grid snapping it like this. Now, another way to move this is say move, and if you want to move it to the origin, I'm gonna make sure that it is set to absolute, and all you have to do is press zero and enter. Now, let's say you want to create another cube. So let's say I create another cube like this, and I wanna actually stack it on top. Same process. So all you have to do is pick the object, move the pivot right here, like this. So control shift, middle mouse button, and I'm gonna move pivot and I'm gonna grid uh, the curve snap it. So I'm gonna say control alt, and I'm gonna drag it to the corner like that. And I'm gonna go back to the 3D view by pressing F8. And I'm gonna say move. And again, I'm gonna curve snap it. So control alt, left mouse button. I'm just gonna drag it along this edge like that. So let's say you have a little bit, uh, something a little bit different. So let's say you wanna stack a cylinder right on top of the middle right here. So all you have to do is 
Okay, I'm gonna just start by moving it right here. But right now it's not at the center. So what you can do is, there are two ways to do, uh, I guess uh, there might be several ways to do this, but one of the ways to do this is, I'm gonna say move control shift and middle mouse button, move pivot, and I'm gonna actually move the pivot right to the center right here. So I'm gonna control alt, left mouse button to click, and snap it like that. And I'm going to snap to center on. I'm gonna say control shift mouse button move. And I hope this works. I'm gonna uh, snap it, curve snap it, control alt, and it'll, it should give me the center like this. And we're able to stack it on top like this. Now, another way to do this is actually move the pivot here and I'm gonna drag it because they're the same size, I'm gonna drag it along this edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick object, control shift, middle mouse button, move pivot, and I'm gonna control alt snap, curve snap like this. Now the pivot is located where I want it to be. And I'm gonna say control shift, middle mouse button, move. I'm just gonna drag it, control alt along this edge. And the, uh, and the cylinder is placed exactly on top of the cube. And this is how you snap. So snap, it is very critical that you get familiar uh, with the snapping options because they are very, very important in modeling. All right, that concludes this lesson and thank you for watching.